Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this angle uh, ACB is uh, 30 degrees. And moreover, uh, this side uh, AC length uh, is uh, two units, whereas this other side AB length uh, is uh, square root of two units. And now our task is to calculate the area of this triangle uh, ABC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. Since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC, the straightforward approach is supposed to be law of sines uh, or we could use the law of cosines as well. However, I am going to show you the alternative approach to calculate the area of the triangle. So therefore, we are going to drop this perpendicular AD on this base BC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area is always equal to a half times base times the height of the triangle. And in our case, the base of this triangle ABC is BC length, this is uh, our base, whereas uh, this perpendicular uh, AD is the height uh, of the triangle. So therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the height uh, and the base uh, of this uh, triangle before we could calculate uh, the area of this triangle. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ADC. And now let's recall the triangle sum theorem. According to this theorem, the sum of three interior angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees. So therefore, in this triangle ADC, this angle is 30 degrees, this angle is 90 degrees. So therefore, this angle has got to be a 60 degree angle. And now we could see that this triangle ADC is our 30, 60, 90 degrees special triangle. Before we proceed any further, let me go over the basic review. And let's focus on this 30, 60, 90 special triangle ADC. And here we can see 30 degrees is our smallest angle, whereas 90 degrees is our largest angle. So therefore, the side opposite to this uh, smallest angle is going to be our uh, smallest leg, whereas the side opposite to our uh, largest angle is going to be our uh, longest leg, and that uh, leg is also called the hypotenuse. So therefore, in such kind of special 30, 60, 90 triangle, the longest leg is always uh, twice the long smallest leg. In other words, if the smallest leg is one, then the longest leg is going to be 2 and this third leg has got to be the square root of 3. And now let's revert our attention back to our this problem. We can see that this hypotenuse is 2 units and this is our longest leg. And we can see this AD is our smallest leg. So this has got to be half of this one. So this is going to be 1 and this third leg CD has got to be the square root of 3. And now we are going to focus on this other right triangle uh, ADB. And I'm going to label this uh, tiny segment BD length uh, as uh, X. And now we are going to find the value of uh, X. And now let's make an observation. We can see the height uh, of this triangle ABC turns out to be one unit. So therefore we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle to solve for x. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, our hypotenuse is square root of 2, whereas our two other legs are uh, x uh, and 1. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So that's going to be x uh, square uh, plus uh, 1 square is going to be equal to the square root of 2 whole uh, square. And now let's make an observation. We can see the square of the square root of 2 is uh, simply 2. So therefore we are going to get uh, x square plus 1 equals to 2. And now I am going to subtract 1 from both uh, sides. So therefore this 1 and negative 1 is gone. 
x square turns out to be equal to 1 and now I am going to undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore uh, our uh, x value simply turns out to be positive uh, 1 unit. So therefore our this uh, x value turns out to be 1. So the whole base uh, BC length is going to be square root of 3 plus 1. So I can write uh, the base is going to be simply square root of 3 plus 1 units. And furthermore, uh, the height of this triangle uh, ABC is going to be this perpendicular uh, which uh, is 1 unit. And here is our final step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this triangle uh, ABC. And now let's recall the area of triangle formula once again. Area equals to a half times base times the height of the triangle. And we already figured out uh, the base uh, and the height. So therefore the area of this triangle ABC is going to be a half uh, times our uh, base is uh, square root of 3 plus uh, 1 times the height is 1. And if we simplify the area of this triangle uh, ABC is going to be square root of 3 plus 1 all over 2 square uh, units. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this uh, triangle ABC turns out to be square root of 3 plus 1 all over 2 square units and that's going to be approximately equal to 1.37 square units as well. In other words the area of this uh, triangle uh, turns out to be square root of 3 plus 1 uh, all over 2 square uh, units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye